Hello, thanks so much for checking out this video. Today, I'm going to show you how you can integrate the Mass SDK to access 14 premium ad networks with the Godot Mass plugin. Are you ready to get started? I am. Let's go. Okay, the first step, once you've come to our documentation, is actually to go to GitHub and download the SDK from the GitHub page. It will come as a zip file, and once it's done, open it, unzip it, and then, once you see that it's inside your folder, go ahead and open your Godot project. I'm going to ignore the message about audio, since the audio for this project is missing, Next, I'm going to make sure that I have imported the Android build template. If you haven't downloaded this before, be aware that it can take up to one hour. In my case, I already have it on my computer, so the process is very quick to get it into my project. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open up my plugins folder. And I'll copy the plugin that I downloaded from the Yoda One documentation and paste it into my plugins folder. The next step is to open this particular file and check the line that says Mass 4.1.1. Please refer to the documentation as to how to change this line when necessary. Great. Now we need to find the Yoda One Mass script. We'll copy it, and then we'll paste it into our scripts folder. Awesome. Once we do this, we'll automatically have an implementation of the Yoda One Mass plugin in our project. Great. With that being completed, most of our work is done but there's still quite a bit for us to cover in this video. The next step is to copy some relevant files, including Android Manifest build and config, and paste them into the Android folder under build. This is key, as these files will replace existing versions that Godot provides with the ones relevant to the Yoda One plugin. You can also open the Android manifest file, and in it, you'll need to make some small changes. First, if you scroll down, you'll find it, some metadata that you'll need to update. You'll want to enter your AdMob ID provided by, to you by Yoda One in the Yoda One mass portal. In the new version of the portal, you can find this in Manage, in the old version in Details. Copy, and then paste that information. Please reference the documentation for further information if you have any questions about this AdMob ID. Great. Once this step is completed, you can check to make sure that you're using the latest version of Godot above in this line, and then you can close this file. The next step will be to go ahead and configure your game for export. Open the export menu, and under Android, let's look at the options. First, we want to make sure we're using custom build and that we're using the Yoda One Mass plugin. If we scroll down, we want to access network state. Here we go. And in addition, we want to find internet. Great. These two steps are done. We can now go ahead and scroll up, and we can find, once we scroll up, that we need to change the debug password, the debug 
release information and the release user, the release password, the debug user, all of which we can find by going into our editor settings. If we check this, we can find the debug key store, which I'll copy now, and we can go ahead and paste that into our debug space. Great. Now that we've replaced the key store, let's also go back and copy our debug user. Just a moment. That's Android debug key. We'll go back and paste it. And then we'll enter Android for the debug password. Great. This will allow us to use a debug version of the APK. Next, let's go ahead and open the build file. Here, we'll need to make sure that we replace the different parts of this file with information from the documentation starting with the Maven repositories, which we can find here. Great. We'll replace that information. And then scrolling down a little bit further, we'll want to check to make sure that multi-dex enabled is set to true per the requirements of the mass plugin. We verify that this is the case. Okay, great. With all of this complete, we can now close the build.gradle file. The next step in this process is to open the scene we want to initialize the mass SDK in. Again, we'll ignore the issue about the lack of music. And here we are. In this scene, we're going to want to add a child node. This child node will allow us to initialize the mass SDK. We'll connect it to the mass script that we set up earlier. And let's go ahead and create a button. But first, we'll need to get the app key, which we can find on our Yoda One mass dashboard or portal. And we'll use this at inside the child node we created. OK, that process is complete. Great. Let's go back to the export settings. And in the export settings, we'll want to check and make sure we're using the correct package name. We can also find this in the Yodel One Mass portal. I'll copy the package name that I added when I submitted my game, paste it here, and I'm good to go. With this done, I'm going to go back now, and as I said before, I'll go ahead and create a button. For this, I'll add an another child node, and this child node will be a button. Super. And I'll just resize the button a little bit and move it down into the bottom left corner of my scene. With this button created, I'm going to duplicate it and add a second button. Each one of these will be used in relation to the SDK in some way. I'll call this first button init so that it can be known as the initialization button. And this button will be called interstitial. OK, now that these two are created, let's change the text for init to init and the text for interstitial to interstitial. Great. All right, in order to make the init button work the way I want, let's add a pressed event. All right, now that the pressed event has been added, 
I want to connect it back to that Yoda one mass node that I created earlier. Super. And you can see that the function on init pressed has been created, meaning that when this function is triggered, something will happen. And in this case, I want to add the init function, which in this script initializes the mass SDK. All right. Now, in interstitial, I'll do something very similar. I'll use the pressed event, connect it to the Yoda1 mass node, which is connected to that script. And on interstitial pressed, what I want to do is I want to add a function from earlier in the script called show interstitial add super with this complete now i'll be able to show an interstitial when i click that button in order to prove that this is working i'm going to add a method to print and show that this has successfully initialized by this i mean the mass sdk so i'll Type in print, initialize, mass, and I'll say with, and add a reference to my app key that I added earlier to that child node. Great. And for the sake of completion, I'll do the same thing, printing that an interstitial has been shown by typing in print, interstitial, add requested. This makes sure that I know that these functions are working properly. Super. All right. Now, if I want to, I can go ahead and test these. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've started the editor, I've started this, Here's my project looking good. And now if I click in it, I will see the messages I expected in the console with the app key that I added earlier. And if I click interstitial, I'll see that the interstitial ad has been requested. Fantastic. Okay, it's now time to export my game to Android. I can export project. Let me rename it for simplicity. And it's ready to go. All right, I'll click save. And on purpose, I have added something to make this particular build fail. We'll see that in a moment. There it is. Okay. Why we failed is because of the NDK version. Now, I need to copy this here one of these versions. So I'm going to copy the first one I see. And I'm showing you this in case you run into a similar error, just so you can get an idea of how to debug it. I need to go ahead and go to the build.gradle file from earlier, which you may recall. And I'm actually curious now, I don't think it's in build.gradle, it's in config, right? So I'll open up config. And there it is in that line, the NDK version. I'll just need to paste a different version of the NDK here. Great. With this being completed, I've now debugged this issue and I'm going to export my project again. Fantastic. This time the build is running smoothly. This takes a bit, so I'll be back and it's done. Great. I successfully built my project with mass. The last step in this process is to go ahead and test it. So I'm going to open it up. But to do so, I want to use an emulator. And in my case, I'm going to use BlueStacks. Okay. While BlueStacks is loading, let me take a moment to say the following. Here at Yoda One, we're very proud to be supporting the Godot community. As you've been following through on this, it may seem rather straightforward, but if you run into issues, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support for help. Now, back to the video. I'll drop my game 
my project into BlueStacks. There it is. I'll go ahead and open it up. Ignore this message as it's a debug version of the game. And let's test. So I'll start by clicking the init to start the SDK. Looks good. Now clicking interstitials, there's an interstitial, fantastic. So I have successfully initialized the mass SDK in my Godot project, and I have successfully called an interstitial. That's great. As I can see, and hopefully you can too, integrating the mass SDK into your Godot project can be easy. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please reach out to our support if you need any help. We hope you find the SDK helpful and that you can make more money with less effort using Mass. Thank you.